There's only a few hours now to go before the start of the Paralympic Games in London. All of the competitors, including the Team Russia contingent, have already settled into the Athletes' Village following a unique welcome in the English capital. Roman Kostarev has more. It could have been just a simple flag-raising ceremony, but the Brits have once again outdone themselves, putting on a theatrical show to welcome the participating nations at the London 2012 Paralympic Village. Great Britain has already built a tradition of creating an environment without barriers for the Paralympians. We have a similar plan in place for Sochi 2014, and we've implemented about 70% of it already. The Russian flag and the national anthem were last but definitely not least in line, leading the procession two-time Paralympic champion Alexei Ashapatov, who will also be the country's flag bearer at the opening ceremony later on Wednesday. It's a huge responsibility to have the honorable distinction of being flag bearer for your country. I feel completely fired up emotionally. The Russian national team has a number of athletes who will be making a second attempt at claiming their place on the Paralympic podium. Among them, Beijing gold medalist, swimmer Alessia Vladikina, who is by the way also an ambassador for the next Winter Paralympics to be held in the Russian Black Sea Resort of Sochi in 2014. There's a huge difference between how I felt coming into Beijing and today. It's difficult to explain, but I feel both both the pressure and the support, which is really making me eager to get into the pool. The Paralympics will be held until the 9th of September, as the streets of London are about to get filled by thousands of athletes and fans from around the world for a spectacle of unparalleled will and strength of character. Since the disintegration of the Soviet Union, a lot has been done in order to help uh, people with disabilities and that's reflected in Russia's Paralympic medal counts and the growing number of athletes uh, as well. 163 of them are here, which is a 20% increase from the Beijing Games and hopefully the additional participants will help uh, Russia overcome the 8th place finish four years ago. Roman Kosarev reporting for RT from the Paralympic Village in London.